So it's been an interesting week for me because I've had two movies and one book that I read and this major thing in my life that all had the same theme running through it. So of the two movies uh, and the one book, the main character, or at least one of the two main characters in each of those things, lost their memories. And so they were struggling uh, for the duration of the story, trying to remember who they are. I was on a walk with my son, uh, Hudson, this weekend, and we were talking about the stories. And he goes, man, isn't that your life? Aren't your memories, isn't that everything of, of who you are? If you don't know who you are, are you actually alive? And it's just made me think, because we're always talking about life and bringing life back again. Uh, the major event for me was we're, we're getting ready to do some redecorating at the what was formerly called the National Ministry Center, and now we're calling it the International Ministry Center because we're impacting so many countries around the world from the work that we're doing there. And we're going to be doing some redecorating and uh, bringing in some new plants and some new life like that. But we don't want to lose, as we're, as we're shifting some of those things, we don't want to lose the memories of who we, of who we are. That actually the life of the ministry is encapsulated so much in what we've done, what people have experienced and been through together. So we're trying hard to capture those memories so we don't forget, so we don't lose who we are. And I've been thinking about my life. I'm surrounded by memories. Uh, you can see the, the clock up there. That, that's a reminder of when I, my 15th anniversary with Christy, we, we went to Rome in that stick. And I've got some of these stones that are sitting in my office. These were, were memories for me of the man weekends, these significant times that I've had with each of my boys throughout. I, I have this sitting on my desk. This is a memory for me. It's the first gift. It's a Frisbee that Bailey made, the first project she made for me. It's D plus B, Daddy plus Bailey. And, and if you were to go around our house, you're going to see these kinds of memories attached all over the place in the artwork and in the furniture and things. And we've taken them all over the country because we don't want to forget who we are and what we've, what we've experienced. And I do wonder in the Western church, have we forgotten who we actually are? The church, the called out ones, the people of God, since the beginning, were not accepted socially. They were always censured. They were always misrepresented. There was always challenges from within and then challenges from without. There was always persecution, even of, our, of our, the founder of our faith, of Jesus Christ, and then all of the apostles who were with him. And sometimes I think that in the Western church, the last couple hundred years, God has provided us this pocket of posterity and peace, and we should forever be thankful for it. And God has used, has allowed those opportunities for the, for the, the, the gospel message, the good news of Jesus to get scattered all throughout the earth. But have we forgotten who, who we actually are? In, in Hebrews chapter 12, even just when talking about difficulty and enduring difficulty, and this has been a very difficult year for many and for this last year, and for many it's still very difficult. In chapter 12, uh, verse 5, it says, And have you forgotten, it's talking to the church, the exhortation that addresses you as children? And this was the exhortation, my son, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, nor be weary when reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. See, all throughout history, the, the Lord has had an eye on his church and he has disciplined us and he's reproved us and he's addressed the issues. Many of the issues we see in the church today, uh, whether it's in the leadership or some churches we think, oh man, the, theologically they're just going off the cliff or some we say, man, uh, where is, where is the, the, the life or for some, where is the compassion? All of these types of things are not new. We have to remember that Jesus addresses all of these things as, in his letters to the churches uh, in the book of Revelation as Paul is addressing the different churches uh, through the letters, the, all the epistles throughout the New Testament. Uh, we, this is who we are. If anything, we've been able to live in a pocket that's outside of, of the normal. And we're thankful for it, but it may not last. And if it doesn't last, that doesn't change who we are. We are the people of God and we have the gospel of God to bring light to the world. That we will always do no matter what. Let us not forget what God has done for us through the, the, the birth, life, death, and resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ, through the sending of his spirit, and through the blessing of his, of his saints. So don't forget, 
God has not forgotten you. And even if there's difficulty, he will use it because he loves you. Thank you. Have a great week.